Welcome to Jamestown Distributors. Today's video is from a training session shot in our workshop featuring Pettit Easy Poxy Top Side Paint. What we're going to go over today is Easy Poxy. The description of Easy Poxy is it's a single component blended polyurethane. That whole mouthful basically is telling you the resin that we use in this product is specifically a urethane resin. Um, we have a second binder in there. We do have some alkyd in it, hence it's blended. The alkyd resin added to it. Alkyds have a little bit more body to them, and that's why it's been added to this product. It gives it a little bit more, more body, which gives it a better ability to mask and hide. So you're not going to run into a situation where you're going to do three and four coats to, to change from red to white and vice versa. They can be used on wood, aluminum, fiberglass, they can be used interior, exterior, they're compatible with everything, um, very versatile product. The first thing you got to do when you're prepping for fiberglass, we're going to go over the fiberglass system, is you got to de-wax the fiberglass that's going to be painted. Now I prefer recommending a Scotch-Brite pad. You can certainly use a cloth, but basically you get plenty of solvent on the surface and you wash the entire fiberglass area in circular motions with a Scotch-Brite. And what we're doing in this step, in this technique, is we're getting rid of the mold release agents off of the fiberglass surface. When they build these boats, they put them in a mold. And they use a wax as the first application so that they can get the fiberglass out of the mold. Well, this coat of gel coat and that wax are just married together. It's not water soluble. I don't care if it's a 30 year old boat. If it's never been painted before, there's mold release agents there. It's not water soluble. You've got to get it off with a chemical. You smell that chemical that I just used. It's very aggressive. That will chemically break down the wax. Um, it's important that you do it wet and dry. You have to wash the entire surface that's going to be painted. That is the first step. And again, it doesn't matter if it's brand new or 30 years old. That is the first step always. The second step is to etch the surface, physically put an anchor pattern into the, into the gel coat so that the paint has something to hold on to. Now I've done most of the prep on this board. It's pretty much flat and frosty over here, no shine, but if you get it in the right light, there's quite a few spots over on the other half of the board here. What I'd like to have you do is just sand those to the frosty finish. Now you can't just go straight to sandpaper and start sanding your gel coat without de-waxing first because all you're going to do is put a little friction on that wax, liquefy it and pour it into the gel coat and, and exaggerate your problem. So the first step again is de-wax. Your second step as we're doing as, as you're witnessing right here is, is to completely turn that shiny finish to a dull, frosty, sanded surface. We use about, top sides, we use about 220 grit sandpapers to create that etch. The second Part of the job is once again wash the surface after you've sanded. If you've exposed any of that mold release agents by cutting into it and, and uh, with a sandpaper, the second washings will get rid of that uh, that mold release agent. So we've de-waxed, we've sanded, we've de-waxed a second time. At this point in this stage in our system for fiberglass, this would be the stage where we would introduce any repairs that have to be made. This is actually smooth and we're not really, it's not necessary for us to go to any repair products or the undercoater. We're going to go straight to our finished product. But my last step, even though I've washed and cleaned the surface, my last step is to take a tack rag and make sure that there are no contaminants on there before we put the paint on. Now the paint technique, before we get to actually throwing it on here, I'm just going to do this little panel. The thing I want to emphasize is the tool that you apply it with. We talked about Easy Poxy being applied real thinly. You can certainly brush it, you can spray the product, or you can do what I prefer to recommend is roll and tip, where you apply it with a roller and you tip it off with a brush. And that's the technique we're going to employ today. Get an even coat on your, on your roller cover, and then with pressure, get rid of the excess paint. We almost want as minimal amount of product as we can. I'm going to let you do the technique. Basically I want you to roll out that whole surface and nothing wrong with putting a little bit of pressure on there and just make sure you get an even mill thickness of paint over the entire surface. And now we're going to tip it off. And the technique for tipping it off, you want to get the brush wet with product, but the brush itself does not add paint to the job. 
we want to get it to the point where it's wet enough that it'll glide on the surface. We don't push it into the paint. We don't add paint to the job. Just almost falling out of your fingertips. We very gently, opposite direction of the way we roll, tip off those bubbles. You let it set up overnight. You come back the next day. You take my favorite little tool, the Scotch-Brite pad. You get rid of the gloss in the first coat. We like these because it won't burn through the product. Sandpaper will take away what you put on. Just too aggressive. And you just let the product do its job. That's the technique. Head and Easy Poxy and all the accessories you need to apply this topside paint are available at jamestowndistributors.com.